What I know about the history of singing out is it... I, I know it started with a really small group of people back in 1992. 20 years ago, a gay choir would probably be something that was a little bit different and a little bit more of a challenge to, than it is now. So there actually was quite a strong um, political movement that was going on in the 70s and 80s leading up to the founding of singing out. The choir was founded um, by John Schrag. There's a long history of gay choruses in North America. It started, the, the original one was the San Francisco Gay Men's Chorus. That was a bunch of guys who got together to sing and kind of got thrown forward on the assassination of Harvey Milk, which is the first time they went out in public and sang. Before singing out, there was a Toronto Gay Men's Chorus, a uh, small group that had somewhat dissolved. The idea for singing out came at the Denver Gala Conference in 1992. I went down with about four other people from the chorus and we sang in front of an audience of 3,000 gay men and women and it was, it was incredible. And we were so impressed, especially by the, um, the mixed choruses, the men and women working together, which seemed so important at a time when we were under such um, attacks from the right wing, from disease, from all kinds of stuff. That's actually unique, not just a, a men's chorus or a, a women's chorus. It's the two coming together. It was a very different political climate. So to sing in and sing out was almost it was almost a political act unto itself. And so we came back and we were determined to start a new chorus. It was me and, and Brian Jarvis and Tim Wilson and Ron Drea and uh, Gillian Bain and Denny Vondette, Steve Russell. We needed a name though, we couldn't come up with a name. I was thinking the 10% Chorale or uh, the Church Street Choral Project. And then Gillian Bain phoned me, she's just out of the blue. She phones me up, she goes, I've got the name, I've got the name, it's singing out. And we all went, oh, that's it, that's it. And we showed up at our first rehearsal, we didn't know who would be there and they were about 25 people there. So I just pulled out some old rounds and we just started singing rounds. And it was just kind of awesome. The, the will of the people there just sort of bringing it into life. Our first rehearsal was in September of 92 and our first concert was in February of 1993. So, 20 years ago. Singing Out was a very welcoming opportunity uh, for me, both as someone new to the gay community, but also someone rediscovering uh, my musical roots. Since joining Singing Out, I really have developed a stronger kind of connection to the LGBT community in Toronto. It's a queer chorus. I mean, you know, here we are, we're uh, people from our community, our tribe, and, uh, and, and we're making music together. I still think there's definitely a place for us to stand up and say, we're here and we're gay, and that's a big part of our identity. I wanted to get back involved with the community again and I thought singing with a gay choir would allow me to do that. I did a Google search that was choir plus Toronto plus gay and I found Singing Out. Coming to Singing Out helped me to um, learn to sing as one. For me it's a symbol of hope for myself as, a, as someone who's already out and living in the city. Like I never really had pains or longing about coming out or whatever, but overall the pro this has made it just be, it is who you are, it is what it is, and it's fine. I don't know if I'd be as happy if I didn't have all of these fun experiences oh, that came, came along that way. It gives you opportunities to be as silly, as, yeah. as gay, as campy, as stereotypical as you want. You can be you. It was just so liberating to walk into a room of over a hundred gay and lesbian singers and to be able to join my voice with theirs in song, it was, it was magic. There's been sort of an ebb and flow with the choir. When it first started, there were probably 20 members maybe. Since I joined in 2008, we were probably somewhere between 35 and 40 members. And since Jody has taken over, it has grown again back up to over 80 people. So this is my fourth season and I conduct this community choir on Tuesday nights. It's definitely become a passion for me. And our first female director, our first straight director. She gets a sound out of us that we can't even believe. I'll never forget the first time I actually stood back and listened to the chorus 
perform, and I was absolutely blown away. I kind of always thought I was sort of one of those like sing in my car alone singers. It wasn't until I joined Singing Out that I realized that my voice added to that sound. We take great pride in our, our musicianship, we take great pride in the sound that we have. We celebrate sort of a mixed bag of serious to fun to silly to gay and we put it all together. For me the course is more about more about the sound we make together than the music we make individually. It's about the sound and the statement. It's a wonderful opportunity for uh, the entire community to come together, uh, to make wonderful music, and also to feel good about ourselves. And what it must have taken uh, 20 years ago to get this off the ground, uh, I, I can't even imagine, but, but to those founders, I guess I would say thanks. Thanks for creating this opportunity for us. There's pride in that too. None of us considers ourselves a singer really, individually, but together, as singing out, we're damn good. <laughs> Oops. <laughs>